I am Ian Inoy, a multidisciplinary artist from used to be Manila, but now I'm back here to my province in my province, um, which is Atimon and Quezon province. Okay, so now the first thing is I will be asking other people that are around. Medyo madami naman tao dito. Um, hopefully, someone would allow me to sketch them. Actually, doodle them lang kasi yun, I'm not a I'm not a realistic artist, <laughs> so it's literally just doodling them. But I want to doodle the actual people that are here. Hopefully, oh, makachika sila kahit pa paano. Well, well, I'm I'm sketching or doodling them. So, oh, I think I would start with that kid. Hopefully, he allows. <laughs> and honestly, it was a sudden change of location, a sudden change of decisions, which only started when the pandemic happened. Nobody knew what would happen during this pandemic, even till now, that it's still going on. We don't know where it will take us. We don't understand um, what will happen to a lot of individuals, especially to us um, full-time artists. But I think if I would look at the silver lining of it, uh, the pandemic changed my art process. It really um, allowed it to mature and grow. And if I would be dissecting what happened with my art process, um, I used to do a lot of non-representational works. Uh, I used to make abstracts using materials but now um, because of the pandemic uh, it, I kind of changed into being more subtle with my art. Dali yung yung sketch ko lang ano lang to doodle doodle lang pero mamaya yung isa isa kung gusto niyo talaga yung kamukha nito sa inyo na yung sketch okay lang. Uh. Now it's more um, I don't know uh, I feel like now I I do more flat um, works and this involves more stories of people outside. Pwede ko kayong daldalin habang dinududol ko kayo. So, gusto ko lang naman itanong actually kasi yung kwento nung gagawin ko kasi kaya ako nagbibideo. Gusto kong mga musa ng tao na about siya sa pandemic. So, kamusta kayo during the start yung simula ng pandemic. Ngayon, kamusta siya ganyan para sa inyo. Um, my previous works, they're more focused on personal insights, what I know, what I feel, um, what my what my reflection is with what's happening with the world. But again, because of the pandemic, um, I meditated more. And I really like how it's, in a way, it listens more to other people. Hey, but may mas nakakapagita pa kayo ng nung pandemya. Yung pinakauna, yun, di ba sa lockdown? Hirap, hirap. Masyado mo. Masyado may... Hmm. And it, it reflects more on the general rather than just me, personally. And the idea that I wanted to show here for this video is my way or I don't know, maybe my my way of of telling stories of other people. Ano yung mga pinaggagawa niyo nung ano? Nung pandemya? Stay because what I noticed about the pandemic is um, we, we had a lot of times where in we were more focused with ourselves and there is nothing wrong with that. It's just that I think a lot of personal bubbles grew. Kung may, kung may describe niya sa akin siya, sa inyo, anong isang bagay na dapat kong mapansin tungkol sa kanya? Sino? Siya. Siya muna. Kumbaga, 
kunwari i-describe niya sa sarili bang tao paano niya siya i-describe kunwari matangkat pa siya makulit, ganyan, matalkal wow, mabayit mabayit wow, wow, wow sana pa and I, I hope that with the art piece that I'm trying to create um, and will be creating, I hope that it would reflect more on allowing people to reconnect with other people also. And where are you usually going to go? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are Oh, ah, Bay Park. Ah, TM. Yan po yung ati muna. Ah. Ah, oh, ah, ah, oh, yung sa gitna. Bay Park po kung tuwa. Pero Bay Park talaga kung tuwa. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one thing that we also have to learn here during this pandemic that self-growth will also lead to connecting with other people. Ano nililipas mo na nila noong ilang araw? Oo, rinapalis. Nag-enjoy naman kayo dun sa Christmas night. Hindi po ngayon hindi ko kasi hindi po hindi ito nagpas. Saan? Saan kayo nagpas? Pero nabuta natin mo. Lahat kayo wala? Lahat yun? Sila lang? And I think when that happens, I think I'm not I'm not really um, minimalizing the effects of, of the pandemic. However, I feel like it would eventually result to you know um, helping one another. Hindi nag pandemya na yung setting in yung gusto yung gawin sa school. Kung hindi nag pandemya. Ano yung mga favorite yung ginagawa sa school? Puro mga katarin. Oh, mga katarin. Actually, yun na ako kasi no yung mga puro kaguhan. Kagaguhan sa sa classroom. Hindi mo ako na. Um, boosting each other, uplifting one another again, and reminding each other that we also need each other in order for us to grow and in order for us to get by. Uh, walang, mas madali bang mas madali bang na, yung class ano ano? Nung online sa inyo or yung mas maganda yung face? Ako din mag ako face to face. Kasi di lahat nakakapasok sa online. Yung ano yun, Samuel Joy, parang... Saka nakakatamad yun eh. Parang mag-isa ka lang din nag naggagawa. Parang di mahal pa nung gagawin mo kung ano. Sagot, lalo na sa month. Yun. Hindi mo alam ko, ano ba ito? Hindi naman ito nag-aaral. This, this event, this pandemic that we never, no one really expected it to come. And... Yeah, that's why I wanted to start it. Start it here. Um, I want to start it here in Atimon and Kelsen because, again, this is where I live and this is where I grew up. And I think that this place really helped me during the pandemic. It helped me get, I don't know, it, it helped me be less anxious and less. I, I, I over. My stay here allowed me not to overthink that much, and I know it's such a privilege, especially for for a lot of individuals that, that doesn't have the chance to do this. It's a it's a whole lot of privilege to have a province where you can just go back to and rest again and chill. And I'm very happy that I had, I have still, and. Yeah, this, that's the reason also why, why I want to start here. And hopefully, um, hopefully it, it, it shows here in this video. And again, I'm just gonna show me trying to interview other people while sketching, doodling them. And trying to ask how much of them is already in the process again of reconnecting with the world and what what are the stories that that they could share um was their experience during the pandemic just like so yeah i hope this video helps